The S&P and the Nasdaq both closed at record highs today, but the Dow was dragged lower in part because of Boeing, which reported a massive loss for the second quarter. It also warned about something that no shareholder wants to hear about, that it may have to halt production of its 737 MAX if the grounding of the jetliner drags on much longer. That pushed the stock 3% lower in today's trade. Phil LeBeau is on the story for us tonight. With the 737 MAX grounded for months, Boeing CEO Dennis Mullenberg says his company could shut down the MAX assembly line if the current plan for recertifying the plane this fall is pushed back even further. If any of the timeline assumptions change significantly from, uh, from a, a, a start of the fourth quarter return to service, then we'll have to evaluate alternatives. And those alternatives could include different production rates. They could include a temporary shutdown of the line. Not something we want to do, yeah. but an alternative that we have to prepare for. Stopping production could mean temporarily laying off thousands of workers and have a ripple effect on suppliers around the country. It all comes down to when the FAA and other regulators say the MAX is safe to take off. A software fix for the plane is being tested in simulators. But if it's approved and airlines like Southwest can resume MAX flights this year, then Boeing will keep building 42 MAXs a month and plan to ramp up production next year. If they are able to relaunch this plane, and it's, as they say, the safest plane to ever fly once they bring it back into service, then their reputation can be preserved. They are battling for their very existence, for their very reputation right now. Meanwhile, Treasury Secretary Steven Mnuchin weighed in on the MAX controversy and what the president thinks of the beleaguered plane. I think, as you know, the president has said he's, he's concerned about the 737 MAX. Uh, quite frankly, he thinks they should bring back the 757 and look at selling 757s. Boeing is not bringing back the 757. In fact, it stopped building that plane in 2004, and reviving it would cost billions of dollars. Instead, the focus right now is on getting the MAX back in the air by the end of the year. Phil LeBeau, Nightly Business Report, Chicago.